Island. Again, packing winds of 115 miles per hour, and it continues to move to the north-northeast at 30. The pressure about 953 millibars, and that makes it about 28 inches. And now the best chance for um, probability of it striking land. Five this morning. Look at that eye making its way up the coast. It gives you a feeling for the massive coming up. And notice that lots and lots of rain is making its way through New Jersey towards our area. I'm expecting rainfall totals between a quarter inch and two inches, depending on exactly where you are. Let's take a look at the effects that we can. Intensity of the storm. It is a Category 3 on the Sapphire, inundating the coast of New Jersey all the way to oh, parts of Delaware as they continue to move off to the west wrapping in a counterclockwise fashion around this cyclone as the general movement of the eye again is to the north. Conditions will change miles an hour and of course as we take you on northward now we can see that uh, heavy rains have also spread on toward the north as well. So a heavy rain maker for you folks on the western side of the storm but for you folks on the east again I can't uh, stress it enough here we have the potential for a very very dangerous uh, storm situation. Well we've got John Hope with us here in our studio now and John joins us and he uh, John I'd like to hear you uh, give us a perspective on how this would compare to other New England hurricanes. Well, it is very much like Hurricane Carol in 1954. It's coming in farther east than the 1938 hurricane did, or Gloria. It looks as if it's the eye is just going to nip the very end of uh, Long Island, that around Montauk, and that means that most of Long Island is going to be west of the eye, and that's a break. But we're afraid that it's going uh, to go in very the uh, storm tide there is going to be very high in Narragansett Bay, 10 or 15 feet there at least. And the other thing, as you well put, uh, there's not much, there isn't much time now to, to do what you're going to do. This is moving pretty fast. All New England hurricanes that are strong move rapidly. This one is too, and no matter what happens now, it just doesn't have time to weaken much. So it's going in as a very powerful hurricane, especially that eastern semicircle of the hurricane, and people need to take precautions and do it right away because time is running out. So we're 195 miles to the south-southwest of Providence right now. We're looking at what? Three, four hours? About three hours. I, I would figure on three hours. Uh, well, I wouldn't want to count on any more than that. John, thanks a lot. We'll check back with you a little bit okay. later on. Folks, now that landfall will be within the next two to three hours somewhere out on extreme eastern Long Island, and perhaps uh, those folks in Providence up the road a piece into Boston have to take heed of this because you will be perhaps on the eastern side of the storm. That is the most dangerous side of the storm where we're talking about winds at 150 miles per hour. Also a uh, pretty nasty storm surge, too, coming in toward the Bay Areas. Look at the rain that we've had with this thing so far. Torrential rains throughout much of the Boston area on down into much of New Jersey. And again, with this thing moving uh, 30, 35 miles an hour with 150 mile an hour winds, we talked with Herb Stevens earlier out of Providence, Rhode Island. We talked with John about the funneling effect here in Narragansett Bay, here in Buzzards Bay as well. Anyone on the eastern side of the storm definitely has to uh, take heed of this and prepare pretty quickly. John Hope's with us now. John, we've got a different animal here than Gloria, wouldn't you say? Well, we do because it is not really winding down any now. In the next few hours, you might see the picture not look quite so well organized, but don't be fooled by that because it's not going to have time to wind down. It's coming in too quickly. It is coming in as a very, very strong hurricane. Make no mistake about it. And especially, as you pointed out, to the east of where the eye makes landfall. Most of Long Island is going to be west of the eye, except maybe the extreme eastern tip. But not so in Buzzards Bay and Narragansett Bay, as you pointed out. It's going to be very close to there. And even on up toward Boston and Cape Cod, they're going to get rigged very, very heavily with this hurricane. So places like New York City, Providence, or excuse me, Hartford, Hartford, uh, yes. Springfield, Spring they'll be on the western side of the storm. They will, yes. Heavy the rain, a lot, lot of heavy rain, but the winds won't be quite as strong as they would be on the east side. But the east side, Boston, Providence, Newport, Rhode Island. Providence, especially. By the time it gets to Boston, it will have been a bit over land, not quite so strong there, but Providence and out on the Cape. You think we'll see some major structural damage here? Oh, yes, I think, to, I think we will. Now, it's a good thing it's not coming in on high tide. I think it's going to make landfall up there before the evening high tide, and that is a real break. If it came in on high tide, much worse. Thank you, John. We will uh, check back in with you later for sure. Folks, that's it. Uh, the perspective from John continues to kind of shoot right, right into the Boston area, Providence area. You can see Narragansett. Storm surge is going to be about five, 10 to 15 feet here, and it's just going to kind of funnel right up the bay. They do have uh, hurricane gates there that, that have been closed in Narragansett Bay, as we were talking to Herb Stevens earlier, and he told us that 
and that is definitely good news. But again, the storm surge here is going to be tremendous. Also into Buzzards Bay, anyone in this area will be on the eastern side of the storm, and this is the most dangerous side with the structural damage, which we feel will be a problem. Folks, we're talking about two to three hours away here. You haven't got time to do much, but definitely grab the insurance policy, take any spe uh, special medications that you have and get those prepared. Take loose items and uh, tie those down because you're not going to have those when you come back after Bob. You may not have some power, so maybe a quick trip to the grocery store, get some emergency items and stuff like that.